for all those cats that I was ballin' with Say rap ain't finna get my ass a scholarship And how come every teacher's motto is Music ain't gon' do for you what college shit for me That's the problem there, see baby, I ain't you on me Tonight I'm gonna party with the people that believe and they've decided here to go with Patterson, redshirt freshman who finished the six overtime win against North Carolina. He is big and physical, and he runs for three to the 28 yard line. 6'4, 245 as of last week, and now he's going to be the blocker on a designed run, which will not go too far. Only a gain of about a yard or two. He throw from the pocket. This is the kind of passes he completed, but he has sailed that one out of bounds. And incomplete. It was intended for Damon Hazelton, the wide receiver. First and 15 for Quincy Patterson out of his own end zone. Has some time. Takes that sideline shot. It's incomplete. Dalton Keene inside run goes nowhere. Loss of a yard as Osmar Bilal is there for the Irish, along with Jason Nadimi Lola. Third down and long. Bring four from his end zone. Patterson goes underneath. It's broken up by Kyle Hamilton, the outstanding freshman safety from the Marist School in Atlanta, Georgia. Three and out for the Hokies. Boy, Hamilton broke on this. He was he was making it look like it was a deep safety. He almost dropped the drop. So Quincy Patterson will take over from the 43 and try a deep ball that is incomplete, nowhere near. Inside give to McLeese. Go up the hash to the 48 yard. Third and five here for Quincy Patterson. The quarterback throws incomplete. Intended for Trey Turner. Again, he is not a polished passer, and I think you're seeing that. 11 minutes and change into this opening quarter, and Deshaun McLeese may have seen his face mask get pulled by Heinish as he was going in there to make the tackle. Drew White was the Irish defender who brought him down. Run, he loves to do this, gonna bounce that to the outside where he's tough to bring down on the move. And he will gain about six yards to the 20 to gain more for the run. Irish running around a little bit on defense with Owusu Koromo trying to get to the right spot. Fourth and four, and the throw is caught by Hazelton. Out of bounds at the nine in front of Dante Vaughn. First and goal for Virginia Tech. It's a gain of another. Patterson looking left, lobbing end zone for Hazelton. Incomplete. Second and goal. And the pull it down, hit by a quarrel. Lofting end zone. It's knocked down by Awusu Koromoa. They tried to get it to James Mitchell. It'll bring up third down. Which means you're definitely in man to man coverage. Third and goal. And Patterson will toss again. Ends of Hazelton comes up with it. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Quincy Patterson, who started, it's played all the way. Hendon Hooker. Not playing in the 25. Deep shot. Patterson, long ball. No flag and incomplete. Second and 10. And Patterson has his pass dropped. Five in the pattern. Third and 10. Patterson escapes. Heads to the sideline. He's brought down by Kyle Hamilton at the 30 yard line. That'll be five short. It is the fourth. Or perhaps fifth three and out for Virginia Tech here in this first half. It's made for a tougher time and adjustment here for the former Memphis head coach. That pass was incomplete, intended for Caleb Smith. If this pass incomplete, as Patterson was not on the same page with the receiver, Caleb Smith, and the three and out parade continues. That is the sixth for Tech in their seven drives. Patterson's a quarterback, but he's all running back here. He's going to run for the first down, too to the 37 yard line. Gain of three, second and seven. Patterson loads, fires downfield. Terrific step for step coverage by Troy Pride Jr. It was incomplete. Third and seven, Irish spring pressure. It's picked up. Patterson hit as he throws complete for the first down of the 48. Kyle Hamilton's going to get flagged for the hit as well. Ezekiah Grimsley caught it. He certainly was jarred, but a nice catch by Grimsley moves it into Notre Dame territory. From the 49, it is a keep for Patterson around the edge. And Patterson outflanks the defense for the first time and runs to the 35. It's a gain of 14 and a Virginia Tech first down. We saw last week when he puts his foot in the ground and turns it up, he can get going. Here he is again at that time. Dante Vaughn had to go low to bring down 
This is their best sustained effort of the game. From the 33, a little fake run. Throw over the top for Hazleton. And he came back and caught it inside the 10. There's a flag down on the Notre Dame sideline. It's complete to Hazleton with a tackle by Dante Vaughn. Check that they've watched the 49ers play. They run out of the huddle to the last scrimmage, and they mess up the handoff. And it's on the ground. And Elusive Koromoa has it. And you get cute, and you get that. And Notre Dame has recovered. Remains Quincy Patterson, and McLeese is caught behind the line of scrimmage by Kurt Heinisch, the junior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and blue-collar player for the Irish with a loss of a yard out of the game. This is second and 11, and Patterson throws it. It's complete. Hazleton pulled it in through the middle of the field. At midfield, he's brought down in Irish territory at the 48-yard line. And blocking for Patterson. Rolls forward for a gain of a couple of yards. So Virginia Tech sitting at 5 and 2 in the ACC Coastal non league game right here with Hendon Hooker, their quarterback, who caught a hot streak, won three in a row. Second down, shot play, incomplete for Trey Turner with coverage from Troy Pride Jr. And a flag down back by the quarterback. First and 10 for the Hokies. And here is McLeese with a run for a gain of a yard. Second and eight. He's going to run it. And just a yard. Alohi Gilman comes to cap off that play. Chris, third down coming up for the Hokie. Third and six designed run. Patterson won't get anywhere. Osmar Bilal, Khalid Kareem, Kirk Heinisch, Alohi Gilman for his fourth down from here. A field goal will be 44 yards. Notre Dame's defense has to come up with a play here. It is the first down run for McLeese, and he'll take it to the six yard line. Now counting on the Irish defense to come up with a stop. After the injury, it's a keeper for the quarterback, and Patterson turns it upfield across the 20. A powerful run for the young man, the redshirt freshman from Chicago, to the 26 yard line. Pick up 20 and first down. First and 10 for the Hokies, and Patterson fires to Hazleton complete. He'll be stopped after the catch, no run after it. Patterson keeping, stretched out, brought down. Sensational play by Julian Aquara. Most of his sack total this year came in the game against Virginia. Otherwise, it's been a quiet year, but a good play against the run by the passer. Tech's got two in the pattern. Sideline shot for the big receiver. Incomplete. Ton of hand fighting with Trey Turner. Hokies take over at their own 17 yard line. Deshaun McLeese is met. Back behind the line of scrimmage by Jameer Jones. Loss of one, second and 11. The redshirt freshman Patterson flings. It's complete to the 23. Friendly mark to the 24. Troy Pride Jr. tackling Trey Turner. Spread with four receivers out there. It'll be caught and run for the first down by Grimsley. So Hezekiah Grimsley, who uh, has caught seven passes this year, spread out in the bunch and a first down. Give inside, it's McLeese for a couple. Belt pack out on the field, and nobody's seen it yet, so it's still out there around the 20. McLeese, somebody got an arm on him. Drew White pulls him down to start this four to the Hokies. And Quincy Patterson looking left and going for Trey Turner again. Turner caught it, spun around Pride. Turner inside the 15, all the way down to the 10 yard line. Here is Patterson firing right, hung up in the air a long time. Three to the right, one to the left, he's looking right. End zone shot, incomplete. It, it's every play is Trey Turner and Troy Pryor. Third and 10 from the 12, we're gonna let Patterson run with it. He's inside the 10, put the shoulder down. Got over by the seven, Alohi Gilman and Sean Crawford, two smaller guys <laughs> willing to take the punishment. It'll bring the field goal unit up. Full boat of timeouts left for the Irish. Is Deshaun McLeese with the carry. Technically just shy of the 27. That's why it's second and four. Patterson's got that on the handoff for the first down to Trey Turner. Turner to the 32-yard line. When he hit a rough spot, Patterson took over. And his offense is uh, right back to where it was when Hooker got in there. Oquara with the tackle of McLeese. But wearing down here a bit, Patterson's going to get another first down. Chris, they're at the 44-yard line with just under five minutes to go. Tech milking every second off that clock. 
McLeese is caught behind the line scrimmage. He works back to the line. And so now it'll be second and ten. The next snap will come under four minutes to go. Third and ten is the moment now. And Patterson's going to throw. He's in trouble. And he is brought down when needed. The best thing Notre Dame does on defense, rush from the edge. Colin Kareem, Julian O'Quara, timeout. From the 10-yard line on first down, it is Patterson looking, looking, firing deep incomplete. Second and 10. Three-man rush Irish. Patterson from zone end zone. He's launching. He's throwing at midfield. Jump ball, and it's incomplete. Oh, it deflected forward. 25 yards from the line of scrimmage. And the six you see in shot. Patterson bumped as he throws. Got under it. Intercepted. Kyle Hamilton goes down. And the Irish will escape with a come from behind victory.